I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake you. Ray gun, I'll save you. My girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She wants the two-tone spaceship. Oh, yeah, that's a clip. Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Now, before I get into this video, Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great holiday. Hope you guys are being safe and you guys are spending time with your family. Got what you guys wanted for Christmas. I'm still playing the game, chilling, having a good time. So don't worry about me. But for this video, we're going to go ahead and uh, make the PPSH overpowered, man. I went ahead and made another class setup based off of a war zone setup that's going to be pretty damn effective i honestly really enjoy the ppsh when you actually build it like a war zone class but my personal opinion a lot of the war zone builds work better than they do in war zone here in multiplayer so without being said the like on this video has to be 500 likes if we can drop 500 likes in this video that'd be absolutely incredible i got a v2 rocket with the ppsh got a lot of quick kills a lot of feeds and overall had a great time smashing on some christmas noobs so yeah that's what I said to date with any and all best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks. Or want me notified by any new updates. Do go live here and call the Vanguard. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications. Let's go ahead, get right into the game, please. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to break down why I run each and every attachment on the PPSH and why this Warzone build is actually better here in multiplayer. Why on earth do they want to take C when we have it trapped? No, get off of it. There's no way I just died right there, bro. Two shot. Oh, died in one bullet to an STG. Holy cow. Getting like triples and quads every sweep. Friendly sending a quad. Man, that fucking thermite shit. Bro. He's has thermites or whatever this incendiary. No! <laughs> oh my god. Why did I even try that?
They're taking Baker. Someone's hungry today. Securing charge. Robert's ready for orders. I remember if I called my bounty gun in, but I ain't calling it in. Oh my god. Run the spawn over here. No, dude. I bet you if I had the MP40, I would have killed him. Oh, shit. That's a clip. They're not sweats, bro. Trust me. Kids like this. I wouldn't count them. I wouldn't consider them sweats at all. <laughs> They're just really just bad players using the most annoying stuff in the game. calling this fucking bombing run but it might be for the best attack dogs ready for action attack dogs called in on the way digging well tonight local informants have a report the dog friendly local informants on this side Enemy has the hard point. Hard point activated. No, this, 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 this recoil booster PPSH is actually like ludicrous, bro. Like, this is actually like. We lost one. This recoil, dude, this shit with the recoil booster is. Up, Holy shit. Why have I not been running this? There you go. There's the V2. Just like that. So they're not using bars or shotguns. They're getting nuked. Dude, this recoil booster PPSH, bro. Oh, God. Let me make sure I actually remember to call it in, too. So when they're not running the shotguns, it's over. Almost lost that shit. I saw two people <laughs> that turned that corner. I knew I was done. Kid, kid had an aid in hand. Yeah, now they're starting to hide in the bag. Oh well, at least we got the nuke. Easy what happens. You get a nuke and then everybody like magically stops moving. Or they start doing weird stuff, holding grenades, all that stuff.
played, uh, you got, you dropped 90, 91 on DOS House. Oh, dude, I don't play DOS House no more. Xbox carried the team. I think they took out, like, I haven't gotten Red Star. Xbox no. did carry the team. Actually, no, I think I got <laughs> Red Star, like, one time the past two weeks. All right, let's go ahead and create the absolute best and the fastest killing PPSH class setup here in Call of Duty Vanguard. You're going to have to run the right attachments on this SMG in order for it to be good and actually up the speed with some of the other better weapons like the MP40, the SUG44, as well as the bar. Let's go ahead and check it out. So I've actually started to run a lot of Warzone class setups on my PPSH builds. I put on the recoil booster on this SMG and this actually makes this weapon pretty damn effective here in multiplayer. The fire rate's going to be bumped up, giving you a faster time to kill and overall just a better feel with this smg and that's why i'm starting to run the recoil booster on the ppsh honestly a lot of my other vanguard weapons here in multiplayer now for this attachment we're still gonna be running the m1941 hand stop so our recoil control as well as accuracy so we can keep the recoil down and controllable allowing us to use the ppsh at those medium to longer ranges a very good attachment for this smg now for the barrel we are going to run the zac 300 millimeter barrel so we have bullet velocity and range accuracy as well as recoil control so this weapon is going to be just a little bit easier to use again at those medium to longer ranges honestly i do feel the ppsh needs a slight buff here in multiplayer maybe going ahead and increasing its damage or going ahead and reducing its recoil something along the lines of that to kind of make it a little bit easier for people to use because honestly not that many people run the ppsh and honestly i don't blame them you have to go ahead and grind this weapon out and when you can literally just use the mp40 default the stg default the bar default and them all being technically better than the ppsh i mean something has to go there now for this attachment, we're gonna go over to the magazine we're gonna run the regular 71 round mag because we're not running the nambu reducing that damage is something we do not want to have happen with this weapon the regular gorenko rounds are gonna work out perfectly and we have 71 bullets we're gonna need that for this increased fire rate class setup now for the ammo type we are running lengthened because obviously it's gonna be the best ammo type in the entire game for multiplayer allowing us to have increased bullet velocity now for the optic i am still running the slate reflector because i want to have a clean optic picture and the mp40's iron types for multiplayer i just don't like them i can use them in warzone but for multiplayer i have to run that slate reflector because this is going to be the easiest way that you guys can get kills at those mean and longer ranges when running this smg and I overall just having a little bit more recoil control with it now for the rear grip we are running the fabric grip so we have increased aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed as well as hip fire recoil recovery a fantastic attachment on this smg and honestly i would not run any other grip under this category for the ppsh you need to run this so you guys can actually be able to be competitive at those closer ranges now for the final attachment, we're going over to the stock we are going to throw on the empress custom so we have recoil control accuracy flinch resistance as well as recoil recovery another great attachment to kind of keep the recoil controllable allowing us to take enemies out at those medium to longer ranges definitely go ahead and throw this on there's not one other stock for multiplayer that's actually going to help us out more than the empress custom now for the two perks i have on tight grip for more recoil control under fire as well as fully loaded so i can start off with the ppsh and use it from kill one all the way to kill 25 until i get that v2 rocket if we go ahead and give this class today a try recoil booster in my opinion is incredibly underrated here in multiplayer i've started to run a lot of unsuppressed weapons on this game similar to how i ran a lot of guns in cold war that's starting to happen again here in vanguard because honestly there are better attachments than being off the radar for this game i mean fire rate and damage is what you want here in vanguard and that's exactly how i'm building up these class setups so for the right setup i have a ninth level pistol Ghost for it into lightweight, and I am running the Gammon Bomb with the Stem Shot. If you guys do go ahead and check out this class that have been end up dropping your most kills, your highest KD ratio, maybe even your first V2 rocket, which is definitely possible, let me know down in the comment section of this video. And as always, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. Remember, about 70% of you guys who watch the content each and every day are not yet subscribed, man. Click the notification bell, become part of the year's family. Catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.